this is a book of Isaiah 55 and verse 11 to say, So shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please, and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto I send it. All praise, in honor and glory to Yahweh Baha Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Hashem, Rakaha Kadash, and Abuhana to the Elden Apostle of the Grayson, who do well. A peace, blessing, and salutation to you, Akiam, who are pushing this truth to the four winds of the heaven and be on the forefront of the spiritual world to make sure Jerusalem is established as a praise here on earth again as in the days of old. So, this is Al Jazeera News.com and it is news slash conflict. You see, and that is a spirit which is on air right now. Conflict. Uh, from individual level, family level, mm, to ethnic level, national level, to kingdom against kingdom, you see. And uh, all of this uh, is geared into ushering the end time prophecy. And uh, the reason I started with uh, Isaiah uh, 50, 50, 50 the 55, sorry, 55, verse 11, is because, uh, you see, you have people who think that, you see, it will take, like, a, a century for the OC to happen. But the scripture tell you a prophecy uh, uh, in one form or another, it will happen. It's a word in which uh, our Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, spoke through his... Uh, Messenger as a prophet is will come into fruition. Uh, right now, we are seeing a build up uh, to the war for Armageddon, and uh, this is the Jazeera news. I will read the title say Israel attacked Hamas position after rocket fired from Gaza. Air strike and tank fire came after two rockets were fired into southern Israel from Gaza Strip. You see, and uh, this is coming right after the Trump administration is a uh, made what we call the historical peace deal, uh, which led uh, to uh, Donald Trump receiving a Nobel Peace Prize. You see, and this goes into when they say peace, peace is any sudden destruction. They say Israel Army say it is struck a mass underground infrastructure and a missile post. We see a struck attack in Gaza. It is say Israel military say it attacked position in the Gaza Strip following rocket fire from earlier. Two rockets were fired into southern Israel from the Gaza Strip later on Saturday. The Israeli army said, although there were no immediate report of casualty or any damage, the Israeli army tweeted that it struck Hamas underground infrastructure and a missile post in Gaza on Saturday, Sunday morning using fighter jets, helicopter, and a tank, and it is conducting an ongoing situation assessment and they remain prepared to operate against the NATO activities. So, all of this will lead into or you will see that's why you see i will entitle this a video that you see what you see will happen you see you see it will happen uh, you see on the lord's time frame so going to the scripture again let's see uh, let me see let's see let me see this is a book of Habakkuk 26. It says, For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come, it will not tarry. So the vision is yet for an appointed time. And what vision uh, the prophet was speaking about? This different prophets, I many Jacob Trouble, the, the RFID chip being made mandatory, and the audio you three. See, and the great deliverance, uh, which he will happen at the end of all of this, man. Because all of this is geared into the salvation of the nation of Israel, man. So the vision are starting to speak. That's why you are seeing all of this ongoing conflict in the Middle East, or the war, the war of Shabbat, or the war of, 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 of judgment. You see, I have uh, scriptures here. Uh, I will be going to it. You see, like uh, today, I listened to a video from the Apostle Tahind. He was going to Malachi 41. It said, For behold, the day comes 
that shall burn as an oven and all the plain year that is going to Esau and all that do wickedly shall be stubble and the day that comes shall burn them up says the Lord Yahabashim your shy of hosty and that way the host goes into armies and the word of the Lord is army as a nuclear missile man that it shall leave them neither root nor branch and that's going to the annihilation of the nation of Israel we know so from there let's go to the book of Ecclesiastes 12 and 2 it says why is the sun or the light or the moon or the star be not darkened nor the cloud return after the lane and hot lane was the scripture talking about that's what's going into the missiles man you see before uh, uh, the morning uh, before uh, the, the sunlight or before the light appear or the moon that's going to the kingdom of heaven before the kingdom of heaven you see before uh, the cloud return man after the lane and that lane is going to uh, the lane of nuclear missiles man you see the lane of nuclear missiles this is the book of second Samuel 23 let's see i will start at the verse it says the power of israel said the lock of israel spoke to me and that law going to your shine man you see who comes with the volume of the book and like now your shine is sapping through his men via this book the bible man through the whole spirit he that rules over men must be just ruling the fear of the power it says, verse 4, and he shall be as the light of the morning again. Like Ecclesiastes 12 and 2. When the sun rises, even the morning without cloud, you see, as the tender grass springs that is going to the kingdom of heaven, out of the earth by clear shining after lane. You see, after lane, what lane is as the scripture talking about? That's what's going to the lane, <laughs> you see, of nuclear missiles, man. You see, so it will be, it will be bad out of here, man. Let's prove, man. This is Genesis 19, 24. It says, The Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, laying upon Sodom and Gomorrah, brimstone. And uh, where does the brimstone come from, man? Through sulfur. And that sulfur is found within uh, the, when, when, when the nuclear missiles, uh, they explode, they release what you call sulfur, a uh, brimstone. It's the same thing with the chariot, man. It's a component which is within the missiles after explosion. It's the same component is in the chariot. And a fire from the Lord out of heaven. So the Lord is going to lay in a fire from heaven, man. Let's go back to a, a, a second Samuel 23 and 4 to substantiate the understanding. Say, let's see, and he shall be as the light of the morning when the sun lies. That's going to the second coming of Ahawashai, our Lord and Savior Ahawashai. Even the morning without cloud, as the tender grass spring out of the earth, that's going to the kingdom of heaven by clear shining after lying. Let's see. See, and uh, again, uh, going to Ecclesiastes 12 and 2, it says, While the sun or the light or the moon or the star be not darkened, that's going to the current rulership, nor the cloud return after the rain. And that rain is going to, uh, 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 you see, uh, the nuclear missiles, man. You see, uh, uh, in which it is considered to be one among the armies of Shabba, Hashem, Yashai. Back to the 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 news. It says they attack a mass position after rocket fired from Gaza, and this man, this man will lead into uh, the biggest war you have ever witnessed in your life, man. You see, uh, even the elect man when they see that fire, that lane of nuclear missiles, they are going to tremble, man. This is your early twenty to say day of, of, of darkness and day of gloomness, a day of cloud and thick darkness, a morning spread upon the mountain. And uh, when you see cloud hot, hot, hot next, uh, it is lane. So a day of cloudy, that's going to the nuclear missiles, man. It is going to lane. A thick darkness and a morning speed upon the mountain. After after that day of darkness, thick darkness, and the lane, the hot come next is the morning. It was the kingdom of heaven. A great people and a strong zeal has not been ever the like. So before the morning comes, all the kingdom of heaven, the Lord is going to lane a fire man on the wicked neither shall be any more after it even as a year of many generation so the lord is going to lay in hot fire pursuing to malachi for and one for behold the day comes that shall burn as an oven and all the plowed year all that do wickedly shall be stubborn and the day that comes shall burn them up says the lord of hosts that shall leave them neither root nor blanch so uh, when after laying what happened next uh, the water collecting into different stream of water they go into a lake 
that's where you get the concept of the lake of fire pursuant to Revelation 20 or 14. You see, you see, and a death and hell you are casting into the lake of fire. This is the second death. You see, and the lake is created with a different stream of water which come after rain. You see, that rain is going to the nuclear missiles. So, so this, I hope you brothers were edified onto the next year.